Craig, what was it so about this Jamie Foxx that had you so twisted up? Let me go find out. They were saying that um, there was a relationship that he had a boyfriend. Jamie Foxx? Mm -hmm. Oh, girl. Girl, we're going to get on that. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to get to that section of the show. Girl, it's so great, so much. I cannot wait to get to that girl, section wait, girl, you of send, the show. Oh, my God, you sent me so much. And it's, a, it's a little higher in the program. Oh, my God, Craig. Yeah, yeah, keep going. I think that you're... Wait, was that it? Let me see. No. No, that's Jasmine, guy. Okay. There yeah, it is. Oh, here that's it. Is. it. Here we go. Okay. You know, a few months ago, you know, he posted a video of you on his verified Twitter and, you know, he had a wild right. caption with it, man. He said that she was Jamie Foxx's ex. How you feel about him saying that, man? Yeah, come on, man. Like, first of all, I, I don't know, you know, I don't think me and Suge have, I thought we squashed it, whatever that was. So I'm thinking that's what it is. So, and then I heard earlier, you know, that uh, his, his thing was hacked or whatever, his, his Twitter was hacked. So I give it, you know, if Suge wanted to talk to me, he, he know how to contact me. He contacted me the last time we had an issue, an altercation. So he figured out how to get to me. So I'm sure he would, you know, I'm sure there's some kind of jail phone in there that kind of, re could, you know, reached to me. I would have never thought in a million years that Suge would, would say that, would put something out there like that on somebody being gay like that, especially in the times that we living in where it, it's okay. I had a I had an uncle that was gay, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with it, so it, it's like it's really corny. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard. Like I've, I've never, I've met. Look, I've, I've, I've met Will. Will has always been cool, chill. I heard the, the little assistant dude come on and and say some some about some some you know anal situs you know whatever that anal stuff whatever that is. Like I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying I heard what the dude said, but for me, Will Smith ain't never like he's always been cool. A cool person. I never. I don't. I don't know. I don't know that side. And I know there's always two sides to a story. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know that side. I know there's a back side, but that's not the side I know. Suge Knight. You know, a few months ago, you know, he posted a video of you on. First of all, let me start out with this. Suge Knight, messy. Suge Knight. Should... Men, men gossip more than women. But Suge Knight is very messy. That that sounded like a very messy Suge Knight stunt. Like he a, did a lot of stuttering and stammering, though. He did, but I did. I was reading from the comments. I've never heard of this man before in my life, but they were saying that he does have a speech impediment. But he, girl, he sounded like Mike Tyson. But you know, he was saying, um, <laughs> what, was that movie with Jada Pinkett? what was that movie years ago? He, what was that? Um, Don't let the comments pile up, Mark. Uh, what was the movie he played in, y'all? It was the movie with Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett was like a single mother, and I think they were dating like lightly or something. What movie was that? I know y'all know. I can see it. Let me pull it. Wait, wait, straight out. Was something about Menace. Was that it? That's the guy from Menace. Menace to Society. Menace to right. Society. That's the one from Menace to Society. Oh. Uh-oh. Girl, that ass almost took you. Girl, I almost toppled you over. Girl, I almost took you. You going to just sit there and watch me go over, bro? <laughs> or are you going to tackle him or are you going to help me? Girl, that? I definitely was going to laugh and then yeah, I was going to see about, to about you later. Girl, you are not no type of friend. I was going to laugh and then see about you later. You're supposed to help me first, not go over, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Not go over, girl. <laughs> girl, I got a bad back. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> so let's get it cracking like a bad back. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> personally, Craig, I'm mm. so tired of, and I, and you might be with me on this, or okay. you may not be. I'm so tired of everybody using gay as a as a as a pejorative. Yeah. I've learned as that a word slur. from you. Yeah. It's just, you know, as a slur. I'm tired of people using gay as a slur. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired of it. Like it's 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 gotten old now. Mm -hmm. You gay, you know, you woman. Right. It's like okay. Okay. <laughs> what else you got? What you got? And your bag of tricks. Right, cause cause what I'm finna hit you with, it's finna be deadly. <laughs> cause it was just like I had said, like you know, and I'm gonna uh, because because this is my show, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna use examples of me, and then I'm gonna bring it back to the surface. Like when Jess, when she, when she, when her comeback was, you're not even my, you're not my sister, you're not even my brother. That's why I was like, oh, okay, girl, so all you got, cause baby, what, baby, cause the way you was finna get towed up this morning, you was gonna have that baby on live TV. Mm. Cause I was coming. Where were you coming from? The bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna come from what lies beneath. And where were you going? <laughs> to the bottom. <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's why I wrote that on my tweet. I was like, oh, that's all she got, oh, child. We don't fuck, mm-hmm. we don't fuck with each other. This all you got, this it. And they wrote, this, that <laughs> bitch wore you out. No, she didn't. Right. <laughs> no, she didn't. She, it's, not, it's not anything new. So, like, girl. And my, because I'm, I'm obsessive about me being a, a she male, a he, <clears throat> she, a trainee. That, that, that's not, you can't hit me with that. And then what did uh, Dory and Corey say from Paris is Burning? It's not a read if it's the truth. Right. We know she's trans. I mean, like. Right. You know, I'm, you know I have titties at the top of dick at the bottom. You know I'm a, he, a she. He. And full of transmission fluid. And full of it, honey. <laughs> but what we didn't know was, let me not do it. Well, wait a minute. Can, can I say that, though, trans? Because I, I had the you, them, I had the them and days on me last week. I don't want the trans community on me this week. Don't do it, because I'll be on your ass, too. <laughs> I'm just saying. OK. <laughs> I don't want no problems. Don't, don't. But you can say transmission fluid to me. <laughs> Faggy. To ah! me. <laughs> and I don't want the gay men all on my back because he's from Baltimore. Well, right. He, he's from Baltimore and they use the term Faggy there. Okay, Faggy. Faggy. Because I was in Baltimore and I was like, wait a minute. Okay. Faggy? Give it up, Faggy. <laughs> that's, that's Baltimore, D.C., Philly. <laughs> faggy is up there. That's that region. Now, since we're on the, on the topic of faggies, let's get back to Suge Knight. <laughs> Girl, I thought we were going to Miss Netta. No, we, Go ahead. don't do that. Go ahead. So this is my thing, right? Mm-hmm. I think that it's old, it's tired, it's late. Now, do I believe any of these accusations? We've got to understand that those men have lived lives. Mm-hmm. And those men have had money. Those men have had access. We've heard this countless times about Will Smith. This is my second time hearing this about Jamie Foxx. I got a Jamie Foxx story. Again. You know I used to live in L.A. Okay, well, this is my third time hearing this about Jamie Foxx. <laughs> it on the booze. Got you feeling loose. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my allegedly signed. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> the, 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 yeah. Blame it on the uh, 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 alcohol. They always do. <laughs> Let me adjust my microphone. <laughs> so. <laughs> he was doing a lot of stuttering. Look, look. He was. Trying to get those words together, bitch. Girl, he was quite flummoxed. Okay. Oh, wait a minute, Alexa. <laughs> hey, Alexa, what is flummoxed? Girl, is she working flummoxed today? Flummoxed is a state of being confused and bewildered. It indicates a state of being thoroughly confounded or perplexed. The word flummoxed is a verb, which means to confuse or bewilder someone. It implies a loss of direction or purpose, indicating a lack of clarity or understanding. By the way, you have a new notification. No. <laughs> Girl, he, was, he was definitely looking for direction. No, I don't want you to give me the notification because people might be flummoxed when they know what's at the door. Right. Girl, he was definitely looking for direction. Because he got a little lost in that story. Unless it's like, I'm going to tell all your business. Right. I was ready for him to land his plane. And just say no. But he never said no. He didn't say He I did mean, not. Are you sure? He never said no. He just I'm said certain. He didn't. He never. He never said no, and he didn't say yes. Craig, can we hear your Jamie Foxx story? So yeah, once upon a time there was a boy named Craig, and <laughs> <laughs> and I lived a long, 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 right, long, 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 right, 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 long, long mm-hmm, mm-hmm. time ago. So I was living in L.A., and Jamie Foxx has a home over there in Thousand Oaks. A what? A home. Not a apartment. That's a compound. Oh, not a pot, man. It's a home. Mm-hmm. Okay. And he had a lot of people that would just come over for parties and stuff. And so I have some friends. And um, they invited me over there to the... Hold on. Let me put the allegedly sign up. No, you, this ain't alleged. This happened. Put that down. <laughs> oh, let me do this then. And it was blank also. Oh. <laughs> no, the blank is always means that we comply. <laughs> so he would have these... He would have these brunch... Well, his sister actually would have these brunches at his house. And what had happened was me and one of my friends went out to the brunch because my friend was good friends with his sister. And so we went out to this brunch and like these people were cooking in his house, like all of the people that were invited, it was like a potluck. 
And it was just like a bunch of people just randomly just walking around his house. Like there were people who had gotten hurt at his house, like like hurt and almost filed lawsuits and stuff like that because there was no supervision. Long story short, Jamie emerges, emerges hours later, like the house is packed. And I'm sitting over to the side minding my business. Huh? I'm sitting over to the side minding my business. And he comes up and he has a camera. And he's looking at me, he's taking pictures on his camera. So what you're saying is that basically he had, there are Polaroids of you. In, in he had some pictures of me somewhere. <laughs> Now, I was fully dressed. Yeah, but there are Polaroids of you in Jamie Foxx's a phone. I mean, not phone, but in his... Uh, and, and, and this was a house full of people, and I'm like, of all of the people in here, you standing right here in front of me taking pictures? Now, I don't know what happened with that camera or that film. But what does that mean, Craig? That's just your story. That's just my story. Now, I don't know what... Listen. I don't know what he did with those pictures. I don't know what he did with those photos. I don't know if he looks at me periodically. <laughs> well, I mean, this was a long, long, long time ago. Long, but, long. but I still look pretty much the same. I still look pretty much the same. Because, you know, I take my vitamins and stuff. <laughs> and I moisturize. So that was your Jamie Foxx story that he took. He just walked up to you and started taking random photos. Just random pictures. Was he doing it to everyone at the party? No. So he, so basically, what he was trying to do, what I, what I'm learning from this, because you've always been a faggy, <laughs> and so what I'm learning from this was that he was preparing himself for this story right here, perhaps, <laughs> and he may be somewhere ejaculating. So he could say that this faggy right here is going to try to put me on first. <laughs> so let me take these pictures of this homosexual right now, because there's a there's a party full of people here, but this faggy's here, and I can just sense the messy on this faggy. There's a picture on my Facebook somewhere of me sta you know, at, the, at his standing at his, over him at his staircase <laughs> in, his, in his at his house. Why are you being messy, Maddie? Oh, this is messy. I'm just telling you. And come on in the hot seat. You know I ain't lying. I don't drink or do drugs. I'm practically allergic to Novocaine. <laughs> I'm practically allergic to Novocaine. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but Suge Knight stays in something. Cause that's he's keeping <laughs> up a bunch of confusion. He, he trying to he trying to keep up activity while he in jail. Well, because you know, he bored. Yeah, bored. You know, and that is definitely the truth. He could definitely be. We'd like to have him on Fag Talk when he gets out. <laughs> Maybe we could do a little in jail kind. Yeah, of. somebody send him the Zoom link to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Let him come on our Fag Talk by Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> it's just he posted on his Twitter. You know that. Mm. But what do we believe about Will Smith? Believe or no? Both. Mm. What do we believe about Will Smith? Do we believe that Will Smith partakes in the arts of darkness and the and the and the handling of wands? Do we think that he's in the wizardly world of Harry Potter? Wand battling? Do we think that he has rooms in the Chamber of Secrets and knows the ways of the Sorcerer's Stones? Would we like him to be freed from the prison of Azkaban so that he could drink from the goblet of fire and then become the half-blood prince that he is? So that he can indulge in the deathly hollow. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Is it true? All I know is um, he and Dwayne Martin used to watch The Young and the Restless together. They used to get together and watch the stories. Craig, we... we we, the bold and the beautiful. We have with we have been with our grandmothers and things like that, Craig. We've watched these things. I was I As was the world turns. I was raised on General Hospital. One life to live. I was raised up on General Hospital. And bitch, if we all out there that are of our age bracket don't know who Victor Newman is and Catherine D. Chancellor. Chancellor I don't know them people. Well, they didn't play it in Africa. I was just going to say, they must not have played this over in Africa. Because you definitely are in the age bracket. 
money, you are definitely you definitely have the ability to know who Catherine D. Chester is, who Victoria and Victor Newman is. They got the same storylines. They just changed the actors. Same characters, just changed the actors. <laughs> Bitch, don't play games like that. I can turn that shit on and right now. And you most definitely know who Erica Kane is, girl, child. Is she still alive? Yes. <laughs> She's still on TV? Erica Kane is still amongst us. Uh, She's still working over there? I don't know if she's still working over there. Because I, <laughs> I had to cut those ties loose. <laughs> mm. That shit will have a hold on you that you'll be sitting there with another heterosexual man. <laughs> you as a straight man will be sitting there with another heterosexual man. Because it'll be so embedded and embedded in you that you as a heterosexual man will be sitting there with your best closest rib watching Victor Newman, Catherine D. Chancellor, and Victoria, and they will fall off of the cliff every season and come back with a facelift every single season. <laughs> well, who are these heterosexual men that are watching together? We were talking about Will Smith. Oh, Will and Dwayne. 